When I tell people I'm an ecologist who works with an organization that studies and conserves snow leopards in their natural home, they say, wow, that's great, but what do you do? So I tell them about the snow leopard, which is a gorgeous, charismatic and incredibly elusive species. I tell them how the species has all the support from evolution to be perfectly suited for the job of living, hunting and breeding in the high mountains of Central and South Asia. I try to tell them how similar a real snow leopard is to the super cat Thai Lung. That's great, but still, what do you do? So I decided to put a little video together showing what exactly do I do. To show that, I'll have to take you out of your school, out of Minnesota. In fact, out of the United States, because there are no wild snow leopards there. I'll take you to the other side of the world. There are just about four to 7,000 snow leopards in the world, and they're spread over 2 million square kilometers. I'm going to take you along to Kyrgyzstan on a recent field trip that we made to a remote area, the Sarichat Etash Reserve. Situated in the Tian Shan Mountains, Sarichat is a fine snow leopard habitat. I was particularly excited about this field trip since for once I was not going to hike those treacherous mountains, but instead I was supposed to ride a Pajero. Not the four-wheeled one, but the four-legged one. My horse was named Pajero. Eight of us, including the four horses, were planning to survey the mountains. Our first camp was about 17 kilometers from where we left our car and required us to cross a high pass at about 4,500 meters elevation. The weather was great and we saw a lot of wildlife on our way, including thousands of Argali. Argali is a beautiful mountain sheep and is also the main food of snow leopards in these mountains. These horses are incredible creatures. They're like an all-terrain bike but with an autopilot function. Since one does not always have to look ahead to be alive, they allow you to look around and cherish the wildlife and the landscape. Fajero's good friend was Michael Jackson. He had this peculiar habit of walking backward, almost as if moonwalking. In the next several days, we set up several camera traps in the mountains. But to set up a camera trap that takes no leopard pictures, we need to first behave like one. Getting down on four is almost always rewarding. We set up more than 40 cameras in an area bigger than the size of New York City. These cameras were to provide opportunity to all the snow leopards take their own selfies and participate in their count. Not just snow leopards, but several other animals would take their selfies too. So this was the work bit. Now some exciting stuff. On our way back, as we were climbing the pass after setting our last camera, the weather turned ominous and we were in the middle of a snowstorm. Despite wind speeds exceeding 100 km per hour, these rock-hardy horses kept us going on. With temperatures several degrees below freezing, my colleague Kuban was looking like a snowman. It is alright to be scared in such situations, but for some reason, Kuban and I kept taking selfies. We both had families and friends back home to boast this snowstorm to. In a few hours, I was wearing a snow crown and snow earrings that would have made me look like a beauty queen had I been a thousand times prettier. To match my ornamentation, Mr. Pajero gave a run for his money to T-800 of Terminator 2. The storm had lasted nearly four hours, which was the time it took us to cross the pass as well. Once down, Pajero and I had begun to understand each other telepathically. In the meanwhile, the cameras continued to take pictures of snow leopards, documenting some incredible behavior insights into the secret world of the elusive snow leopard. For instance, this snow leopard went grocery shopping from her penthouse, only to return with a marmot, something that was never documented before. This was a small window into a part of what we do as wildlife ecologists in a workplace where no two workdays are ever the same. This is also what helps us make friends from some of the most beautiful parts of the world. And I have the mighty snow leopard to thank for all of this. Mm -hmm.